Hello Flosstube! This is not my official Flosstube video, but it is a video about stitching. Uh, my name is Ingeborg, my channel is A Stitch Too Far, and if you've been watching my videos, you know that I have been talking about maybe planning a stitching get-together. So this is my English language version of the video where I will talk to you about what I have in mind for that uh, weekend. Because I had the opportunity to go to my uh, local needle workshop and discuss with the owner, Joke, the possibilities of such a weekend and come up with a definite date for that. So, get ready. The date for the stitching weekend will be 26 and 27 of August 2017. So, we have a date. Now, what will we be doing on those days? I, I thought about this uh, beforehand and because there were some people from outside of the Netherlands who showed an interest in coming, I decided that we would do not just one day but two because then it would be worth your while to come from a longer distance away and visit the shop and visit with us stitchers. So that's why it's two days and it will be on Saturday and a Sunday. The Saturday the shop, the shop will be open as normal, so it will be open starting from 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, the sh you can come whenever you want, starting from 11 o'clock, you're welcome, uh, you can shop whatever you like. But you can also bring your stitching and there's room to stitch in the shop itself. Um, if you want to, there's coffee or tea or water. And if you want, they will serve some bread as lunch in the afternoon. But uh, you can also go uh, to any of the local restaurants. There's a few options to eat out in the area near the shop. So that's another uh, possibility. If you'd rather do that, then it's okay. Uh, they would appreciate that if you stay for lunch that you contribute a small uh, amount to uh, pay for the costs. But you can also bring your own lunch if you want or just go out and get your own lunch in a restaurant or a bistro or whatever. Um, so officially, normally uh, on a Saturday the shop would close at 4 o'clock. But the owner has said that for this type of occasion she would gladly stay open longer and that is also possible to do so let's we didn't um, set a specific time but let's assume that uh, the shop will stay open until about six o'clock so between 11 and 6 you can come whenever you want and join us uh, for some stitching um, I will be there starting from 11 uh, whenever someone has actually said they will be there on Saturday <laughs> But we'll get to that. So, um, from 11 to 6, you can shop your heart out, you can stitch your heart out, we can chat, we can do whatever we want. Um, and then after that, I, uh, I suggest that who, want, who would want to, we can go out and have a dinner uh, in, some, in one of the local restaurants. Then on Sunday, the shop is not usually open, so uh, on a Saturday we can expect that there will be other customers besides our group. Uh, but on a Sunday there will be no other customers, it will be just for us, she will open. I have not yet um, specified with her the times, but I will, I'm going to assume somewhere from 12 until 5 o'clock in the evening. She will be open for us and I will talk to her about maybe picking out one or two of her patterns as a sort of um, stitchy project for you to do or to take with you as a memory of the day or the weekend. Um, to be open on that Sunday she will charge us some money and uh, depending on how many people will actually uh, join us. Um, it will vary, but I'm going to say the maximum will probably be 25 euro per person. And again, she will provide with some uh, bread for lunch and you can also just go and l l find your lunch anywhere else. Um, and again, uh, after she closes on Sunday, I suggest that for anyone who wants to, we can go and have dinner together as a sort of 
ending of the weekend together. Um, so that's just uh, roughly the, the planning uh, program that I have come up with. The date is set, the program can be changed depending on your preferences. So let me know if there's something you would like to see included or changed. I can see if I can accommodate for that. Uh, so just some general information. Um, if, you're, if you're going to bring some stitching with you, uh, keep in mind that she does not have individual stitching lights or magnifiers. So if you need those, you have to bring your own. Uh, there will be plenty of seating. Uh, if you bring a partner who may not enjoy stitching for two days, then there are alternatives for, the, for your partner to entertain himself or herself or themselves. Um, uh, the city of Arnhem itself is close by and there are plenty of in interesting museums and there's a zoo which is very nice. Um, there is a national park nearby Arnhem called Hoogveluwe. If you're into cycling, that I would recommend going there. Um, but uh, there's also the possibility to, uh, just to hang out in the shop and read or do whatever they like or talk to other partners and there'll be coffee and there's plenty of room for them to sit and relax. Um, if you are coming by car, uh, there is uh, plenty of parking space. Uh, near the shop, but um, be sure to bring your blue parking card. I think most countries have similar, like a disc with where you put the timing of parking on it because it may be necessary to use that. Um, I will uh, put her um, internet address or website down below uh, for the shop. Uh, she does have... Oh, uh, information about the directions if you're coming by car or by train but I think they're only in Dutch so if you uh, are planning to come please let me know if I can assist you in any way in giving you information about public transport or the, the best uh, way to get there by car or anything else um, because it is possible to get there by public transport, by train, uh, you can go to the city of Arnhem uh, Central Station and take a bus from there to, to the, the nearby village where the shop is. Um, and there's also the possibility to take uh, a train from Arnhem to that uh, village. And then it's about 10 minutes walk. Um, if you are planning on coming for the weekend and you need a place to stay, um, I, I would suggest uh, bed and breakfast in the same town as where the shop is. There are several options for that. If you need any help with that, please let me know. I'll be happy to accommodate uh, your questions and help you get in touch with a good place. Um, uh, in Arnhem itself, there's also the option of several hotels that you could ch uh, choose from to stay. If you prefer staying in a bit of a bigger city. Uh, anything else? Well, if you have any kind of questions about the weekend or how to get there or accommodations or whatever, please let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. I have uh, made a special email address uh, for anyone who is interested in coming to show their interest and to ask questions. And that email address I will put in the screen. I won't put it in the box because I'm I expect I will get a lot of spam. So the email address is w underscore i underscore p uh, at uh, kpnmail.nl. I think I said it right. That's the short version. The long version is weekend underscore in underscore paradise at kpnmail.nl. So both of them will work and give, uh, get me to the same account. Um, so, what I would like to know from you if, um, is, is whether or not you're planning on coming. Well, actually, whether you're planning on coming. Uh, I don't need a definite yes, but I do need to know if you're interested because I need a number of people, an approximate number of people that I can expect. Um, if you're planning on coming, please let me know uh, if you're planning to come for the whole weekend or just one or, or, of those days. Please let me know if you have any questions about uh, the travel to the location, if you might uh, want to travel together because I've had people uh, ask me, um, you know, I'm, sca I'm scared to, 
to drive that far alone. Maybe I can, you know, find someone who is in my neighborhood that's also planning on coming. Maybe we can come together and I can maybe get you in touch with someone. Um, and if you're coming, please let me know if you would like to join me for dinner on Saturday or Sunday. And if you have any kind of questions, um, please let me know because I just doing this spur of the moment thing and I'm sure there's plenty of questions that you're going to have for me. Please feel free to ask me, ask me anything. And, and please let me know on that mail address, so w underscore i underscore p at kpnmail.nl if, uh, yeah, if you're planning on coming. And please let me know so that in the second week of August I will have your answer. And that won't have to be a definite answer, but then I can have uh, a check with uh, the shop owner to indicate to her how many people I'm roughly expecting so that she can give me an amount for the get together on Sunday so that I can tell you, okay, this will be the amount that she wants, will, will require. And then you can give me your definite yes or no if you're coming or not. That's about all I could think of. If you have any questions, again, please let me know. And I'm going to say, hope to see you in August and look forward to it. Bye, guys. <laughs>